My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now from the Community Health Access Project is Nancy Harper. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning. The Community Health, Ex- the Health Access Project, what is that? That is the acronym for Community Health Access Project is CHAP. Mm-hmm. So some people um, may be familiar with CHAP. CHAP has been around for t- over 23 years and it is a nonprofit um, agency, a 501c3, okay. uh, that provides um, services to community members who live in one of the six counties that CHAP covers, which is Crawford, um, Richland, Ashland, Morrow, Knox, and Huron. Okay. And those services um, could be anywhere um, from a pregnant mom um, needing to be connected to an OBGYN, uh, lining up with a, a pediatrician, diapers, wipes, mm-hmm. baby clothing uh, from um, a then pediatric who needs to be connected also to a pediatrician and their well child visits um, and their immunizations and then for the um, adults uh, helping them with their um, a, submitting their social security application um, connecting them to a specialist say they okay. have a you know a specific disease it's that community health worker who is helping them get connected to those resources so CHAP has um, partnering agencies and within all of our partnering agencies, there is a community health worker or more than one community health worker. And that community health worker who is working at that agency then goes out and does home visits okay. with the clients and anyone else within that family. The um, Pathways, it's called the Pathways Community Health Model. And the health model is to um, do a holistic approach to the entire family. So um, let's say we get a referral in um, for a pregnant mom. Um, mom is living with grandma and grandpa, aunt or uncle, has multiple children in the household. The community health worker is primarily starting with helping the mom, but can also help the everyone else living in that household. Okay. Because everyone else living in that household could be having um, risk factors that need to be mitigated. Um, they don't. They are out of a job. Um, they need to see a specialist. I mean, the risk factors of everyone in that household could be impacting the health of the mom and the unborn baby. Okay. So the community health worker then holistically looks at everyone living in that household and helps everyone mitigate their risk factors. Oh wow! Okay, so you, they kind of help. She'll, she'll figure out what's going on and get them in or send them in the right direction where to go. Right. Correct. Yeah. Um, coordinates transportation for them, um, coordinates if they need food, mm-hmm. clothing, if they help need help um, with their utilities, getting them connected to the resources that can help them with those um, risk factors, those things, those basic needs mm-hmm. um, that they're having trouble meeting. Wow, is there any cost to this at all? No, it's all free. Wow, wow. Very cool. It's all free. And, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, we get yeah. referrals from. Uh, mm-hmm. Individuals that call in or come into our office, mm-hmm. uh, we get referrals from agencies within the community, um, and then we also get referrals from uh, our Medicaid managed care providers, Care Source, Buckeye Marina, United Healthcare, um, and then um, we get referrals from oh, like Ohio Health, mm-hmm. Alveda, um, you know, yeah. or when they when they have, or even uh, you know, a um, counseling service, you know, if they have a, a client that they're working with and they see that they have a lot of risk factors, um, then they will refer that client to CHAP and then the community health worker will reach out and connect with that individual and help them get their risk factors mitigated. So medically, med, you know, uh, medical and, uh, you know, mental, physical, all that, right? Right. Yeah. They, um, the community health workers do not do anything clinically mm-hmm. related. Mm-hmm. They just get them connected to the resources mm-hmm. that they that they need. So they're, it's very important that the community health worker lives in the, in the mm-hmm. community that they're serving because they then develop that relationship and that trust. Uh, for example, if someone um, is hesitant about getting a vaccine, um, you know, they may go to the doctor, the doctor may talk with them about it, mm-hmm. but they're still hesitant. Um, if they have that trust and relationship with a community health worker, then that community health worker can help them and, and they, they trust them, and sure. they're leading them to the right resources and, and making the right connections. 
And you have them in every county, or that you named off, right? We this have, is, mm -hmm. we have, um, mostly our community health workers are in Richland County. Okay. We're looking for partnering agencies mm -hmm. that would um, be interested in partnering with CHAP to have a community health worker within their organization. Okay. And right now we have um, several uh, Crawford County community members um, that we're serving. Mm -hmm. um, they are being served by a community health worker in Richland County. Okay. Um, but the, the model, the Pathways Community Health model is designed for the community health worker to live in the county that they're serving because it's that makes the, the connection easier sure, right, yeah. and, and the relationship um, much better. And they're more aware of all the resources in their own community. Oh, where, yeah, you know, yeah. a mm -hmm. community health worker in another county would need to learn sure, where right. all the resources are at. Sure. So you're looking for people too, probably, right? Looking for organizations yep. that would um, uh, want to hire a community mm -hmm. health worker and or they might even have someone on staff sure, right. that's um, doing s similar things as a community health worker. They are helping their community members get them connected to to diapers and wipes and getting them connected to transportation. You know, so any organization in Crawford County that's, you know, is doing that, mm -hmm. um, someone within the, in their organization could actually become a certified community health worker. And when I say certified, yeah. um, they um, we have a training that um, we provide funding for the individual to attend the certified community health worker training, and they are certified by the Board of Nursing, Ohio okay. Board of Nursing. Okay. So it's a three week training, and um, then after the training, then they receive their certificate, and then they have to recertify every two years. Okay. If there's an organization that might be interested in partnering with you, how can they do that? Um, they can uh, call our office, which is 419-526-CHAP. Mm -hmm. So CHAP spelled, and the numerical for CHAP yeah. is 2427. Okay. And then um, my email address is um, director at chaphub.org, and that's C-H-A-P-H-U-B.org. Mm -hmm. And what counties were that again? Um, CHAP covers uh, Crawford, mm -hmm. Ashland, Richland, Morrow, Knox, and Huron. Okay, so if you're in that those counties there and you're an organization that would like to partner, that's right. The, Please reach older, out, yes, because right? yeah. you, you actually probably have someone um, within your organization doing these similar, very similar things as a certified community health worker um, and going through our, um, being a partner with CHAP uh, would also be very beneficial. All right, well Nancy, thank you so much. What a, what a fantastic, uh, organization you have there. Well, thank you. It was it was started by um, doctors Mark and Sarah Redding, okay. um, and they have now um, taken their Pathways Community Health model, mm -hmm. and it's being implemented all across the United States. Wow, so cool, yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. about, um, I'd say like 19% of the counties in Ohio that are not yet covered by mm -hmm. a Pathways Community Hub, mm -hmm. and that's what CHAP is. Um, there are 11 certified hubs in Ohio, mm -hmm. And then um, the Pathways Community Health model, the Reddings, um, it's, and, and their organization, they created another organization. So they created, the Reddings created CHAP okay. in Mansfield. Okay. Okay, they started in Mansfield. And now the, they are implementing their, their model all across the United States. So wow. they're in 11 states now, helping wow. communities in those states start a Pathways Community Hub and start helping their community members address their social determinants of health, um, getting their risk factors mitigated. Um, the other organization that they started is the Pathways Community Health Institute, okay. PCHI, and um, that's uh, where then any any um, community all over the United States they contact PCHI if they're interested in starting a hub. So I know I'm doing a little a little thing, but the Reddings they're just very wonderful people, and they're you know they live in Richland County. Um, the late Dr. Mark Redding was a pediatrician, okay. um, and we are just carrying on. The work that they started. Thank you so much, Nancy. Sure. Thank you for so much for asking us to, to be here. Anytime. Thank you.